friends, today we're going to be reading the story Bringing Back the Whooping Crane. And we're going to be talking about asking and answering questions while we read the story to find out what the main point is of what we are reading. There's some vocabulary words and some big words in this story that we're going to talk about first. The first word is captivity. And captivity is where something is kept within a certain bound or a certain area. The next word is endangered species. And an endangered species is something like an animal that is in danger of disappearing. The next word is habitat. And habitat is an area where plants, birds, or animals live. The next word is migrate. And when something migrates, it's traveling from one place to another place every year. The next word is species, and that is a group of animals that are the same. The next word is ultralight, and ultralight is a type of small aircraft. And wingspan, that is the distance from tip of one wing to another wing. So a bird, when it spreads its wings, that is its wingspan. Okay. So as we're reading the story, we're going to be asking ourselves some questions to be able to understand what we're reading. So I look at the story and I look at the picture and I look at the title of the story and it's called Bringing Back the Whooping Crane. Well, hmm, I wonder, what are they bringing back from? Where they, were they in a certain place? Um, we notice that the word endangered species was in there. Does that mean they're endangered? Is there, is there not very many of them left? Where are they, where, we need to ask, like, what does it mean when they say, bring back the whooping crane? Hmm. Well, let's read to find out. So as I open the story, here's my title page, bringing back the whooping crane. And I want you to look here. This is called a table of contents. And the table of contents tells you the name of each chapter and the page it starts on. And you can also figure out what the main point is by reading each chapter name. All right. This is also called a nonfiction story. And ask yourself, what is a nonfiction story? Well, a nonfiction story is a story that is a true story. It is facts. All right, so here we have our first chapter, and it's called, Now You See Them. Have you ever seen a whooping crane? Probably not. Only a few hundred of these rare birds are left. 60 years ago, there were only about 20 whooping cranes. This book tells how many people are working to bring back the whooping cranes. Hmm. So, I think we have our first question answered. So my question is, why have we not seen them? What happened? So if I look in my story, I ask myself, why have we not seen these whooping cranes? Well, we know that there's only a few hundred of them left. So I'm gonna highlight that with my highlight tape. So we know one reason why, or one detail why we haven't seen them is because there's only a few hundred of them left. So I'm gonna write that down as detail one. I asked my question, why have we not seen them? And my answer, one of my details, is only a few hundred left. What's another detail that answers my question of why have we not seen a whooping crane where we are? Hmm, 60 years ago, there were only about 20 whooping cranes. Whoa, that's another detail. So I'm gonna highlight that with my highlighter tape too. 60 years ago, there were only about 20 whooping cranes left. So I'm gonna write that as my detail number two. So the main point of this whole thing right here, now you see them, 
is that there's only, the reason why we haven't seen them is because there's only a few hundred left and there were only 20, 60 years ago, only 60 left, or only 20 cranes. And that is asking questions and answering the questions within the text to find details to answer it. So right now I'm gonna finish up this paragraph and I'm gonna read the facts that they have about whooping cranes. And these are really interesting. They are found only in North America and North America is where we live. They migrate from Canada to the Southern United States. They are more than five feet tall which is about the same height as me. They are the tallest birds in North America. They have a wingspan, remember wingspan, of seven feet. Oh my goodness. They get their name from the whooping cry that they make. And their cry can be heard from two miles away. So if I pull out my United States, here's North America. The United States, we live right here. Okay, this is Indiana. So this is the United States. Up here is Canada. So they migrate from here all the way down to Mexico, all the way down. So that's where they go. Tomorrow, we're going to read the next chapter and we're going to be asking ourselves some questions of cranes in danger. Why are cranes in danger? Hmm, I guess we'll find out tomorrow.